What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR, where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content. So today we are going to be taking a look at two of the virtual reality shooters. I know I already did a video comparing all four and kind of what you're looking for in all four of them, but I definitely want to take a closer look at two of them because they are the two newer virtual reality shooters. So I will link the other video if you want to see the direct comparison between all four above, but for right now, I do want to take a look at the two newer ones, which are Zero Caliber and Contractors, and really, quite frankly, talk about you know what their future is. Because we know that Pavlov is pretty established, and Onward's been around for a long time, and those games do have dedicated player bases. But we do have some interesting you know things to talk about when it comes to Zero Caliber and Contractors, just because they're newer games, and both of them offer what seems to be a promising future. So I definitely want to talk about what is going on with the future of those games. Um, also, uh, going on until Monday, this coming Monday, I am still doing a giveaway for my last video for Aura VR. So I will also link that below for you guys to check out if you're interested in potentially getting that game for free. So. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and hop on into this direct comparison. So first up in the content section here, we are gonna be talking about contractors and what there actually is in the game for you to do. So this game is pretty straightforward. It is a PVP VR shooter. And you know, I know that a lot of these other games offer that, but this is an area where actually Zero Caliber hasn't delivered yet. It's coming, of course, in the future, but contractors right now is, you know, a only PVP VR shooter. And it really captures the Call of Duty vibes. That's what the game is going for. It's going for Call of Duty in VR. And it actually does a pretty good job of delivering on that. Um, you get your different Call of Duty game modes, everything from Search and Destroy to Team Deathmatch to Domination, you know, to some other competitive game modes that you have thrown in there. And it's honestly a really enjoyable experience, especially, you know, when you're in a full lobby. And when I say that, you know, doesn't mean that the game doesn't have enough players to play because the ability to go cross play with the quest is really nice if you know you can't seem to find that many players because there's typically a lot more quest players also playing so you're going to be able to hopefully find a full game the only downside to this is that the quest you know they don't have access to the mod so the modded lobbies with the you know modern warfare call of duty maps that people have remade you know which actually look really good in vr and are really fun to play um the quest doesn't get that so if you're not playing in a uh, only pc lobby you're going to be playing on the stock maps which there's only a couple of them so it's kind of a downside and also this game does itself a disservice being five on five you know in these you know standard lobbies because it's just the the maps are a little bit big and five on five really makes the game feel empty where if you're in a pc vr lobby you do, do get eight on eight and 16 total players and they're usually pretty filled and you also do get to play the modded map so definitely adds to this game if you're in a lobby that is eight on eight on you know some of these call of duty maps you know it might ring in some nostalgia and at the same time you know you're really going to enjoy it playing the call of duty game modes because this game does feel a lot like call of duty now when it comes to other content in this game you're going to have a fair amount of guns and you know a lot of different attachments and different class loadouts and certain guns are definitely going to feel better to you than other guns now there's still a little bit of balancing stuff i mean there are definitely some guns in this game that are a little bit overpowered but you know, for the most part, this game really does capture the Call of Duty in VR feel, and that really is what it should be emphasized, is if you're gonna pick this game up, you better be expecting Call of Duty in virtual reality, because that's really what you're getting. And a lot of people are craving that. Now, is it quite as polished as, you know, a AAA Call of Duty game? No, but it is really good. So I would definitely, you know, if you're into PVP, this is gonna be a good option for you. Now, when it comes to Zero Caliber's content, Right, as of right now, it does not have PVP. So to some people that might be a deal breaker. It is being added in the future. So to, to be able to compare the PVP side of these games, you can't just because the Zero Caliber doesn't have a PVP yet. Now, the future of this game does look really bright because honestly, the graphics in this game are fantastic. And the other things is too, this game has a campaign. And I think, you know, you're gonna spend most of your time, you know, messing around the campaign between, you know, running in with uh, dual 1911s to going into a close range map with snipers and, you know, other, you know, various things like that. You're gonna, you just be kind of playing 
playing through the campaign, which is actually serviceable, gets a job done, playing through the levels, and just playing with a different class loadouts. There's a ton of customization in this game. Zero Caliber offers an incredible amount of weapon customization. You could literally put sniper scopes on pistols, which is ridiculous, but you know, it is actually pretty fun to do. So the game offers a ton and the campaign is serviceable. The levels are fun, the design is fun of the levels, and it has a lot going for it there. Now, I think that this game's future is really, really up in the air because what it already offers is a solid campaign with a you know a fun amount of things to do in it and then also on top of it they're going to be adding pvp to the game and you know how the pvp is going to stack up to contractors i don't know yet but the weapons feel great in zero caliber and there are gun physics which is pretty cool so when you're pushing around a corner you know your gun you know doesn't clip through the wall which i think actually you know i remember when i first started playing this game it took me a little bit of getting used to just because i was used to being able to just like you know stack right up against the wall and just you know slightly lean out around the corner with my gun already there but this game offers a little bit of a difference so i wonder how that is going to play into the pvp side of things we are going to find out as soon as they add the player versus player and i'm also interested to see in what the damage dynamics are in the player versus player because the campaign you know it takes a couple shots depending on which gun you use to kill you know the enemies and it does feel sometimes a little bit like you know they're bullet sponges but then there's other guns that you know kill them really really quick so it's going to be for sure interesting to see how they handle the damage models whenever it comes to the player versus player but i do think that this game has a very bright future ahead of it and both of these games it'll be a lot easier to compare the pvp side of things whenever you know zero caliber adds their player versus player All right, so when it comes to the sound design here, I do want to start with contractors. And I want to say that the game's gun sounds are very serviceable. Um, I think that they're they're fine. They're nothing you know special. I think that uh, the silencers, when you put silencers on the guns, they kind of all do sound the same, you know, based on class. And some of the weapon sounds are, you know, a little bit forgettable, but nothing that's going to take you out of the immersion. Um, I do think contractors does need a vast sound overhaul just because the game is very quiet when you're not communicating with your team and there's gonna be games you're in where the team doesn't want to talk they don't want to talk strategy they just want to run around and mindlessly shoot people and that's fine but you know the thing is is the game feels very empty when you do that now if you're playing on any of the modded maps like the call of duty maps you do get the you know the call of duty overhaul sounds of you know when you're starting up around and sometimes some of the call of duty music kicks in which is really a nice refresher compared to like the stock maps in the game it's very very quiet and it just you know does feels empty it does feel empty so i think that that's an area where contractors can definitely improve on is its overall sound design now when it comes to zero caliber sound design it gets the job done here. Um, I think that you know the weapon sounds are definitely a little bit more diverse than contractors, and they sound good. They definitely sound like they pack a punch, and you know the sound design of you know the levels of what's going on, the explosions around you are pretty solid, uh, and even the campaign voiceovers, you know, in the main part of the campaign. And I want to emphasize that because there are several different uh, levels. There's like a continuous campaign, and then there's just some side levels that they made, you know, and in the continuous the voiceover is not bad and honestly the you know it keeps you immersed in it now when you get into some of the side levels some of the voiceovers are really 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 bad and i mean like it's like cringeworthy bad but um that's a pretty minor complaint because honestly it's not like you know throwing you out of the immersion so i think overall zero caliber sound design is a little bit stronger than contractors just because it doesn't feel near as empty when you're playing a level and most of the time you're playing it by yourself so that's a good sign if you're playing it by yourself and it doesn't feel empty where 
contractors, I could be in a full lobby, and sometimes the game just feels really empty and, and dry. So um, that's that for the sound design. Now, when it comes to graphics side of things, I do want to start with contractors again here. The graphics are very good in contractors. There's really no complaint, and some of the modded Call of Duty maps look amazing. Um, they look much better than the stock maps, and there's nothing wrong with the stock maps, but you know, they're ported over from Call of Duty games, so they have little things that are very important in you know a game like this so the graphics are really good i have found the however in contractors compared to like pavlov and onward and i know this video isn't comparing them but i have found that it is a little harder to see people with distances and again without being able to you know see how zero caliber's pvp would stack up i mean zero caliber i have no problem seeing you know the npc enemies at distances but you know the player versus player and contractors I have found that there has been some times where it's really difficult to see people when they just get shot and I'm like, I have no idea how he even saw me. And I guess it's possible they're using a scope, but you know, scopes in these type of games typically are, you know, not as used as much because it's just hard to do in VR. So uh, I have found that to be, you know, something there, but contractors overall graphics, I think are pretty good. There's nothing wrong with them. I, you know, I don't think anything is absolutely stunning about them, um, but the graphics are very serviceable and they're not gonna be immersion breaking. You're gonna feel fine playing the game. Uh, now, when it comes to Zero Caliber, this game's graphics are actually beautiful. I mean, if you optimize them a little bit, um, you know, from going to the advanced settings when you get in there based on your PC, you really can make this game look really good. And it, it, it's actually impressive. And it's something that I'm looking forward to, you know, here whenever they do add the PvP to see how it stacks up with, you know, some of the other games that have been on the market for a little longer, just because the graphics are so good. And they just improved all the lighting and the shadows on all the maps and the guns look amazing. And everything in this game just looks really good. So I think that Zero Caliber has definitely the edge on graphics. The graphics are fantastic, but overall, really these games you're not really that concerned about the graphics i mean yes it could be one thing but more so you're concerned with the gameplay and that's really you know the gist of it so first up for pros and cons i do want to talk about contractors and some of the pros that i have in this game when you're in a full lobby of 16 players playing on a modern warfare 2 map running around the map and just shooting people. It's, honestly, it sounds so simple, but it's really awesome. The, I mean, the game just does capture the Call of Duty feel, and there are some times, especially when you get thrown into the MW2 maps, that just give you the nostalgia. I mean, f the feeling of playing some of these maps in virtual reality in a game that feels very similar to Call of Duty gives you an awesome vibe, and it's something that, quite frankly, I just can't get enough of. And I really do hope that this game has a greater player base in the future, that th these maps can even be expanded upon more and maybe do 12 on 12, you know, which is really, really populated so you can run around and get some of this stuff done. So I think that's a really big pro of this game. And also contractors, just the reloading feels so good in contractors. I don't know why or what it is, but it's just like something about the reloading in that game just feels so satisfying to keep doing it. You just want to keep doing it. And, you know, when you're in the middle of a firefight and you reload your gun and then kill two more people real quick, it really gives you an awesome, awesome feeling. And I think that this game is, you know, really delivers in that aspect. Um, one of the cons to contractors, like I said, is just the overall sound design. And at times you have to play in the crossplay servers to find anybody to play with which again, I haven't noticed is too big of an issue, you know, in peak hours, but definitely if you're trying to, you know, hop on, play a couple games before bed, late at night, you know, you're probably gonna have to play with Quest players and, you know, and nothing wrong with that. It's just the game feels a lot more empty and you don't get any of the modded uh, maps or weapons or anything, modded lobbies, anything like that. Now, when it comes to Zero Caliber, the biggest pro to this game is definitely the campaign and the graphics, I mean, the graphics are fantastic and the campaign is a lot of fun to play. It's, it's fun to just casually screw around and run around with, you know, a concoction of different weapons or a pistol with a sniper scope on it and really just casually get to do what you want. And I think that this is gonna carry over into the player versus player as well to be able to just customize your guns and really make it feel the way you want it to feel. There's no, you know, certain sites for, you know, certain faction weapons like there are in all these other games. You can literally put 
anything you want on any gun you have. So it's pretty interesting and definitely going to be interested to see how that carries over to the PvP side of things. Now, my biggest downside to Zero Caliber and the biggest con, obviously, is right now it doesn't have player versus player, and I think that that's definitely coming. And the reloading in Zero Caliber is fine, so there's nothing wrong with that compared to contractors, but I definitely think that the biggest con right now for the game is just there is no player versus player, So and there's just not enough levels. There's The content in the game is it's solid what's there, but it just isn't as you know, diverse as you'd like it to be. But again, the game also wasn't $60. So I'm not going to complain, you know, if it was a $60 AAA game and it had as much as it would be, I'm sure many people would be very up in arms, but that's just not the case. So when I think about the future of these two games, I think both of them definitely have a bright future and there's no doubt about that. Um, but I do have to give the edge to contractors here. I think that if they can do some things to this game, there's a potential for it to probably take Pavlov's player base. And I quite frankly hope that happens because this game is so much better than Pavlov when it comes to like the gun handling, the sounds, just the the levels. It just doesn't have the player base and it just doesn't have some of the mod support that Pavlov has. I mean, there's some opportunities in Pavlov to play in, you know, lobbies with 40 some players and a big World War II map. And yeah, that's a lot of fun. And it's, it's just the game is so janky compared to contractors. I just hope the contractors can take some of that player base, make these mods, you know, maybe out of zombies mode, you know, oh man, would that be awesome with the, the better gun physics. And, you know, also I think that contractors, quite frankly, in the future would benefit from kind of doing a campaign or maybe letting the modders, you know, if the modders can come up with a way to basically recreate, you know, the Call of Duty campaigns in VR, I mean, I think the game could really, really be really popular. So I definitely have to give the edge to contractors when it comes to the future of these games, but Zero Caliber is definitely nothing to sleep on and it's a lot of fun. So if you have some extra bucks, go ahead and throw it at Zero Caliber. But if I were to tell you which game I feel has the brighter future, it's definitely contractors. So... Well guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but I really wanted to do an in-depth dive into these two games because right now they are the two newer virtual reality shooters that, you know, are starting to gain some traction. And I definitely wanted to just, you know, give you my thoughts on what I think the future of these two games holds and really, you know, where it's going. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a ton of VR content. Uh, I am still doing a giveaway uh, for my last video. It's only going on for about two more days though. So if I want to hop on that, if you're interested in getting that game, but like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.